This week's podcast is brought to you by the Beefy Boys. Just three cool dudes hanging out, talking about sports, video games, music, and whatever else they feel like. <clears throat> find them at their website, www.beefyboys.com. Also, we you find your other podcasts, iTunes, Podbean, YouTube, you know, all the regulars. The Beefy Boys, the best show on planet Earth. Hi, I'm Renee. And I'm Jess. And we're the Deerfoot Sisters. Sorry to interrupt, but we have some breaking news. We wanted to let you know that right now you're actually only listening to the second best podcast on planet Earth. That's right. If you want to check out the world's best podcast, search Deerfeet on iTunes, Spotify, Podbean, you know, all the regulars. Deerfeet's a podcast featuring two sisters talking about life and all the kooky things it brings, like rhymes. So when you're done listening to this episode, be sure to check out Deer Feet. Or you can just do it right now. Thanks! What is up, folks, and welcome back to the Beefy Boys. Oh, episode Boy, yeah, 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 yeah. 51. <laughs> That's right. You got it right. Well, it's yep. easy. Unless We've got a hoot. We got a hoot nanny upstairs because of primetime football going on right now. Uh, Green Bay playing the Lions. Snore. Snooze fest. Snore. Um. So, with that being said, I'm Christian, and I'm joined here by the fucking beefy boys. We got Joe. Hey. And Vito. What up? And we got ourselves a special episode today because we have a lot to talk about in a short amount of time. <laughs> it's going to be action packed. Action packed. So with that being said, I mean, this the the fucking and as sports. As a resident ep- sleeper, I don't know any of our topics. <laughs> hey, oh. <laughs> so this so the sports episode has been in question, just mainly because these last few weeks have just been insanely busy, and I've been you know preparing a lot for this show and and just been dealing with a lot of fucking stuff in life in general. Hopefully, I can get it back and running. But if not, I can of course come back to talking about sports on this show as a little sports corner. Kind of like how you guys get your little uh, Final Fantasy corners. This guy will get his <laughs> little. This guy will get his little moment. Um, I mean, with that being said, Seahawks move on to five and one, and 49ers are at the top of the division, which Joe predicted. And yep. Seahawks are not third in the division like Joe predicted, but the Seahawks are right behind them, like I predicted. So, with that being said, What's I the love Seahawks at right now. Five and one. Seahawks are five and one. 49ers are five and zero. Oh. Same amount of wins, just Seahawks played a Saints team that they did not prepare for, and it was clear as day that they did not prepare for the Saints. And the Saints. 49ers play the Redskins next week, which is a So, 6-0. and oh, Yep. If you're really looking at it. Or it could be a trap game. You never know. Um, I'm just kidding. 49ers mm-hmm. defense is just absolutely disgusting. Uh, Nick Bosa keeps on proving why he is such a top pick. Hopefully, you know, the thing with the Bosa brothers is that they have a lot of question when it comes to their health. Are they healthy enough to play the full season? You never know. But both both Bosa brothers are playing right now. Um, Chargers is where uh, Nick Bosa, or no, is it? God damn it, I'm confusing their names. Chargers is There's Joey, Joey Bosa Joey and, the and the Nick Bosa. And Nick on the Niners. Nick on the Niners. Niners Nick, there you go. Yep, Niners Nick, and then Joey on the on the Chargers. What a shithole, L.A. What a shithole. That team is garbage, and your fan base fucking sucks. You, uh, the L.A. Chargers you're referring LA, to? The L.A. Chargers I am referring to. And the and L.A. Rams, too. I think L.A. is just a cesspool of shitty sports fans that don't deserve a football hater. team. Um, when you see, I mean, if you saw the game yesterday, so the 49ers went to LA to play the Rams and Pittsburgh came or came to, uh, LA as well to play the chargers, both stadiums filled with the opposite fan base. (laughs) 49ers flooded that stadium. It was incredible to see this. The stands were all red. It looked like a fucking Trojan the game, man. It looked like a Saturday all over again. Vito, to that reference, USC Trojans play in the same stadium and they have a red uniform. Oh! So it literally <laughs> looked like a fucking Trojans game. Um, You know, there's a lot to say about, you know, 
the football season in general. It's exactly how I kind of imagined it being. Just an incredible, like, fun fucking time to watch football. Because there's so much going on, man. Uh, but I do intend to get it on the sports episode. I promise you guys. It, it'll be back. It's just you guys got to work with me here for for this here's, uh, you know, sports bar podcast. <laughs> it's a pain in the ass. Uh, with that being yeah. said, I'm not going to get too hung up on sports because we've got spooky beers in here, you guys. Ooh, spooky beers spooky. and a spooky cider. That's oh, right. Yeah. That caught me off guard. So let's, let's all right. So I'm going to give. Let's uh, get started. Let's get it started. So I asked Facebook. Oh. Oh, I thought this would be a twist off. I got keys right here, man. Oh, yeah. F- throw that shit. So, I took to Facebook to ask what pumpkin beers were people, you know, recommending to us. And so, I've got one here. I'm going to keep this here because I got That's fine because you have the other ones too. Do you have cups? Oh, you do have cups. Absolutely. Well, Dude, I'm prepared. Someone is going to have to get up at some point. <laughs> to, oh, Vito's on. Okay. <laughs> I think that's a healthy taste. It's right one there. thing to throw the keys around. It's another <laughs> <laughs> to throw a full cup, solo cups of beer, cup of beer around there. I'm actually surprised at how much you can get out of one of these fucking beers. Yeah. Oh, Vito, if you wanted a little bit, eh, it's like a spit more. Yeah. Okay. So we have about even amount in each cup, which is pretty impressive. And which which beer is this? This one is going to be from Smell Justice. Beer. Uh, Justice recommended us to try the the uh, different approach to pumpkin beer, which is the Sam Adams Oktoberfest. Okay. So I'm going to give this a go. I've never had a Sam Adams beer before, so... You've never had a Sam Adams before? Yeah, that's pretty good. This really doesn't taste like pumpkin at all. It doesn't. It, it doesn't. It tastes like a regular it's beer. T- I mean, it tastes like a German. Yeah. A yeah. Mal- malty, so it gets a little bit of that banana flavor. It's like a caramel color. It's good. Me, I prefer the American it's pretty good, IPA though. style to the German style, but, I mean, it's not bad. Right? No, I like this stuff. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of IPAs. I like this one. I'm not a big fan of IPAs, and we had a we had a few different... We have a buddy that works over there at Fremont Brewery, and he brought a bunch of... He brought, like, a full, like, box of IPAs to the house here, and I tried every, every single one of them from Fremont. Yeah. And, uh... They've Not got they've got two they've got two IPAs that I really you know I actually enjoy. Let me guess. Was it the Lush and the Field to Ferment? It was the Pride, the Lush, and then the Sea Kraken, I believe. Oh, the Sky Kraken? Sky Kraken. I haven't tried that one. I so, like the Lush. The Lush is a very juicy what we call juicy IPA. So it's got juicy. brighter hops. But I, this uh <laughs> juicy. Yeah, to get back to this beer, it's it's pretty tasty. It's good. It, I mean, it's not it what I it's, it's not what I thought. It is when, nice when that it's it was cold. A, it's not what I thought, as in like an October beer. It's not very pump. It's not really pumpkin-y at all. It's, it's just, not pumpkin. I mean, it's just but a I don't, German I don't style. think they yeah, ever advertised it being pumpkin. I mean, they just call so. it Oktoberfest. It is called Oktoberfest. The label it is, it is fucking good. Is orange and black? Okay, which implies pumpkin. Oh God! Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's that's good beer. I yeah. got to give a shout out. I bought this at Trader Joe's. It's a pumpkin spice ginger beer. Oh. Which is like pumpkin and ginger soda. It literally, you first drink it and it tastes like pumpkin pie, and then at the end it tastes like ginger beer. And I'm like, okay, this is different. <laughs> it's good though. It's good that though. Sounds pretty good though. I liked it. You licked it. Uh, ah. Final thoughts on the Samuel L. Adams. It's totally serviceable German style beer. Beer. Yeah. Beer. I'd say it's like a six or seven out of ten. I'm not going to start rating them now. <laughs> I would say I would say this beer would go really good with a with some with a hot dog, with or like a nice like a kielbasa. Polish dog. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. You ever been to Leavenworth? I mean, or a the whole time. Yeah, fuck yeah. Get be your stein of beer here. and like uh, oh, like a corn dog or a corn dog. <laughs> oh man, spatzel. Oh my god, German food is crazy awesome. It's all just like yeah. carbs and gravy. <laughs> We're talking about going to Leavenworth here and like. Probably around New Year's, maybe either after New Year's or... It's fun in the wintertime. New Year's weekend. I really... I mean, I've been there in the summertime so many times. I've been there in the wintertime a few times, and every time I go... get those chains on your tires, though. 
Every time I go, I'm like, fuck yeah, it's going to snow. I'm so excited. Every time I go, it's like not fucking like it snowing. covered but in it's snow when we were there. negative three degrees. And yeah. I'm like, well, this is just like cool. <laughs> None of the fun. But I want it to be snowing. <laughs> yep. uh, so, okay. <sighs> hope you're cracking the next one already. We are. Um, and this one goes to, this one goes out to uh, Matt from the... Matt Norberg? No, no, no. From the podcast that we shouted out last week. Oh. Uh, Your co-worker's partner or whatever? Yes. He recommended the Elysian... You still have my keys, man. Yeah. The, oh, yeah. The Elysian variety. <laughs> <laughs> I saw... So I did. I have seen that Elysian variety pumpkin pack around, but they didn't have it when I went to buy beer right before the they, I They didn't have it yesterday. When I went to Safeway, they didn't have it. I was yeah. kind of... Shocked! I had to look like a fucking bum buying. Vito singles. and I were talking a lot of. Sh- I'm not going to name the place, but the grocery store we stopped at to buy beer had <laughs> a lot of summer beer still out, and they had a bunch of winter beers, and they had like no fall beer. And I'm like, what is happening here? What is? Go- Why do we still have these summer ales out in October? Where is the pumpkin? And then we noticed that they had pumpkin beer in like a thousand different spots around the store, just not in the beer display, which was weird. Poo, doo, doo. The boys are very doing no, meticulous science experiments. I'm trying over to there. divvy accordingly I think over that here. That one was mine, man. I don't whatever. I got a cold. So. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I assumed I picked this one. All right. That would make sense, yeah. Okay, this one smells like a pumpkin pie. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, it does. <laughs> Coming here, I'm going to shout out Matt again one more time. Shout out to Matt for. Throwing the Elysian pack out. Couldn't find the variety pack. And it tastes but, like a pumpkin pie. <laughs> but we picked up yeah. the Elysian Night Owl. And I've had this beer before. I'm not going to say what store I had it outside of. But I, <laughs> sat, I sat at a dumpster yep. with a co-worker yep. after work, not naming where it was. Mm-hmm. Never mind. I don't does, even work there anymore. Does he, have a nick- does he have a nickname that's also a type of pasta? <laughs> yeah shout out to our boy noodles <laughs> all right yeah so me and noodles hung out one night after work and i mean we we were just like well let's have a beer so we had uh blue moon and we had a night owl both pumpkin beers night owl s- stood out a little bit more i had to go back in and buy uh, another like, one two does, of the does two blue of the moon big bottles pumpkin? they do a pumpkin That's beer weird I thought and they only did the wheat. And it's yeah. fucking good. That shit was good. I'll, I, if nice. I can find it before the end of oct- October, then I will for sure bring it in. Um, oh, God, yeah. Oh, I wait I know, for the right? fall time. Every time this beer comes out, I get so excited, man. Are you like a PSL person? Because I remember, I'm not, a PS, I'm not a pumpkin spice guy. I mean, I don't think that it's a You know, you know what I thing. do for fall with my coffee? I take my my twelve ounce quad shot mocha and I put a little bit of cinnamon on top. Oh, sprinkle it. Nice. Yeah. See, good. I'm not against the pumpkin spice movement, and neither uh, am I. I don't know why there's a fucking battle between apple cider and pumpkin spice. I think what? That's not people real. that think people that argue that should just like fucking grow up. Yeah, and realize and, and, that people and, can and enjoy just both. Have both. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, just let people like what they like, man. I know Sorry, what the fuck. Love of pumpkin spice affect you. I know. People get so pissy about pumpkin spice, man. I know. I know. I think like, one of my favorite things about pumpkin spice like pastries is that they, they tend to be a little bit more um juicy than like and like not dry and and like yeah, you, know, you know how a lot of pastries can be like just kind of dry and like not wet enough. I will be going to the store and buying another one of these probably I mean, yeah. very soon. Personally, I'm just not really that big a fan of cardamom, but whatever. What? Cardamom. What's that? It's one of the pumpkin spices. Oh, man. Uh, Along with cloves and cinnamon. Right. Dude, this beer. Okay, Elysian. Pumpkin pie was my favorite pie growing up. So I love you guys for three things. Yeah, strawberry rhubarb. That's that's funny. That's where I'm at now. Mm-hmm. Men's Room Red, Men's Room Black, and Night Owl. Dayglow is the best Elysian beer, hands down. Dayglow is good. I remember having Dayglow on the show, and it actually got me drunk. I remember <laughs> it's a potent beer, yeah. <laughs> I remember that. Uh, Day glow's good, but men's room red, men's room black. It's too sweet. Night owl, red, love all them all. Red, all reds are too sweet, and the black is just a offshoot of the red. 
Yeah. The I feel like beers really that are. I like and beers that, that like IPA drinkers like are just opposite. Because like I can't, I don't really like beer that much. And so the IPAs and stuff are just too Well, you love like much. spiced rum, right? So you're going to yeah. love those like thick, heavy, like, oh, a uh, stout with honey or, you know. But also I'd rather, I'd rather just porter. have whiskey than spiced rum anyway. Yeah. Well, so. you're unique. You're a delicate flower, Vito. Well, here's some breaking yeah. news that not everybody was like, that not everybody's going to be surprised about. Will Disley is labeled most likely out for the season. Shock, that's not surprising to anyone. That sucks, man. You know, because he was, you know, the season was really shaping up to be a breakout year for Will Disley. The guy catches fucking everything. Uh. If you watch, <laughs> that was a good one. That I bet that, That's just for you, Nay. I bet you that one tasted like pie. Yeah, that shit yeah, had Thanksgiving yeah. written all over it. Um, so Will Disley, I mean, having an incredible year already. The guy is an awesome tight end. The only problem is, is the 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 legs, the knees. You know, the the knees or the Achilles. He tore his Achilles tendon yesterday, mm. and he was running a route, and then in the end zone, he got crossed up. Dude, that and, Achilles is fucking killer, man. Yeah, I had fucking. It's a killer. <laughs> um, I had fucking plant, uh, plantar fasciitis Ooh, or whatever for like hella painful. Fucking, like, I have that shit. I swear, I had, I had, had that that like shit since like year. last November. Yeah, exactly. Whatever. Eli Manning won it's a Super gone Bowl now with for me, plantar fasciitis, but... so because he's the best quarterback ever. Sorry, Apparently, Danny. Apparently, uh, people like Christian and I are more prone to get it. Yeah, beefy boys. Beefy boys. <laughs> beefy boys. I'm 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 quitting on Danny Dimes. By the way. No. After he had like a, a combined, like he had like a 58 quarterback rating last game and then like a 30 <laughs> in the one against the Patriots. He's terrible. Dude, He's awful. the fucking Patriots. Awful. Come on. He's awful. You can't, you can't hate on the guy for, do playing, I want. for playing the fucking best. <laughs> was, that, was that the guy you had in your dream? Yeah. <laughs> He's terrible. That's hilarious. He's god awful. He's not terrible. He's awful. I think you're wrong. I like you don't how, watch. How you, how you like made a duct tape jersey. <laughs> that was just for this guy. And then like the next... <laughs> it was fucking awesome. And I'm... then the next week, you're like, fuck that guy. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's not like Eli Manning's any better. And as Christian pointed out, that was a Reebok jersey, so it's like 10 years old. <laughs> <laughs> but... It's great. I'm not giving up on him. You can't give up on the guy. I mean, you can, because I do you whatever watch want, football. Yeah. But... I read the stats. I, I like the I guy, the and I think that... Unfortunately, in his position, no TDs, three picks. That's what you want to see. <laughs> is your he didn't he he had a uh, touchdown? No, he didn't. He threw one to Golden Tate. Oh, you're it's right. Like a Fifty yard play. One TD, three picks, and they lost by twenty points. It looked good. Oh. It was it was fourteen fourteen. Yes, at a point it was, and then it was not. Then it was not. <laughs> then the game kind of got. It was, and then it, it was then not. It disappeared. But the, uh, you know, so everybody is talking about the, the 49ers defense. They are incredible. They deserve all the credit. Whew. New England's defense is disgusting. Watching those guys play. They took a corner like Stephon Gilmore. Somebody that was like kind of dying in Buffalo. He was a pro bowler. I, he Buffalo. just, dude, he was not, he was not who he is now. Even in, even in his first two years with the Patriots, he was not Stephon Gilmore of this season. Stephon Gilmore this year is just disgusting. Mm. It's gross. That that mm. coaching staff and that organization can take players and literally transform Burp. them. And Antonio Brown is him, entering back into the world of shitstorm. What what happened now? Uh, he's going up on Twitter, tweeting up a storm, talking about how he wants to come back and play. But then he says... Uh, everybody who follows the Patriots, tweet at them because they owe me money. First off, no, they don't. These they do actually. They don't. They're gonna have to pay him. They're not gonna. Pay They're him. gonna lose that arbitration case. It was fully guaranteed money. That's what fully guaranteed money means. Was it fully guaranteed? Yes. Or did he have to perform for that? No, money? it was a signing bonus. So as soon as he played one game, he gets all of that money. He gets that eight million dollars. There's no. There's nothing they can do about it. Interesting. Yeah. Speaking of PR shenanigans, there's that shenanigans with Blizzard. Fuck Blizzard. <laughs> Boycott I Blizzard. Say, fuck, fuck New Age Blizzard, that's for sure. New Age Blizzard, huh? I like, like New Age, but I like it. Well, because, like, Blizzard. fucking, it's like... Seriously, they're a shitstorm. Seriously, I, I, 
I never disliked anything about Blizzard as a as a, a, a creator of games until like the last five so, years. To recap for my mother and those who are not up on this news, hi mom. Hoping to get you on the show next week. She will be joining the show next week. Oh, it will happen. We apparently. will have <laughs> Mama Joe, uh, Emily, Mamaly, as we call her. <laughs> this is what happened: Hearthstone Grand Champions Asia Division. This guy wins. They cut to an interview with him. He's wearing a gas mask. Hearthstone is a Blizzard game. Hearthstone is a Blizzard card game. Yes. He's wearing a gas mask and says something in support of the Hong Kong protesters, like liberate Hong Kong or something. They cut back to the shoutcasters. Shoutcasters are sportscasters, but for video game stuff. They call them shoutcasters, Bob. And anyone else who needs that I, information. I didn't know what that See? was. I was <laughs> like, what the fuck is a shoutcaster? <clears throat> anyway. Wait, 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 wait. Let me finish. The shoutcasters are straight up hiding under the desk because they know this is bad. The next day, that guy gets banned for an entire year and has to forfeit his million dollar prize. And the two shoutcasters have been fired. They claim this was for an ethics violation. Meanwhile, professional Hearthstone players who like draw swastikas and shout the N word on their stream get banned for six weeks. So, <laughs> you know. Also, you think- I should point out at this point that Tencent, which is a Chinese company owned by the government of China, owns a five percent stake in Activision Blizzard. Yep. And so now you've got you know the company's just. I said it on Twitter. They're bending over, bending over backwards to get fucked in the ass by Chinese government. Why? Money. Just what Joe said. They, I mean, yeah. got the company that oh. owns the stakes. It's all about money. It's, it's just fucking disgusting, man. It's I don't want to go deep into this because I know I'm not a geopolitical expert, but anyone who's saying that it's more complicated than you think, no, it's, it's, it's not. not. It's you just have an American company that got in bed with a authoritarian regime now the authoritarian regime is acting more authoritarian and the capitalist company is bowing to the dollar over any sort of moral standing i mean that's exactly what's happening this is why you don't take investment from authoritarian governments just hands down if china did not have money they'd be thought of the same way as north korea is but since they have lots of money and a billion people they can do whatever the fuck they want it's super fucked up they are literally north korea yeah it's disgusting. I yeah. fucking hate it. Yeah. And it's it's crazy how you see how my okay, the the one thing that I my biggest takeaway on this is the the impact of freedom of speech that people take for granted living in a place like here. Yeah. We can say and do whatever the fuck we want. Yeah. You know, people can call the president a piece of shit. You know, they can they can tell him to go fuck himself. They can call him whatever the fuck they want because it's... They can say he has tiny hands. Free speech. Yep. You know, or, you know, so the the craziest thing is I've never seen... We don't, we don't get political on the show ever, but one thing I will say is, like, this is a huge deal here. It's like freedom of speech is being taken away from people, especially... And, and then, you know, things that involve... Us here in the U.S., let's talk about the NBA. I was going to say, the NBA is kind of going through the same. Yeah. PR, so right so the NBA played preseason games in Japan. And uh, a group of uh, NBA fans showed up to the game in, like, liberate Hong Kong shirts. Or, like, free Hong Kong. You know what I'm saying? That game was in Brooklyn. R- really? Yeah. Real I thought quick. they were. I thought it was in Japan. No, they were. They've been in China, but that game where they showed up in those Liberate Hong oh, Kong that was in, and got that was kicked out. Well, that game was in out. Brooklyn. Real, real quick, guys, have you guys seen the memes? What memes? Of uh, the Pooh? all the no, all the Blizzard. I was going to say the Wizard Winnie the Pooh. They're using all these Blizz, like Blizzard game models to, to re- redepict yes, the. I saw uh, that. The uh, the tank thing. I the saw ten, the one with the, the over Tiananmen I saw the one Square. With the over- yeah. 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 I Overwatch. Overcast. Overwatch. Overcast. Overwatch. Yeah, where it's a bunch of Bastion tanks lined up to run oh, over a Oh, jeez. Yeah, and there's yeah, a bunch of other ones, bad. too. And it's seen. funny it's because bad. they're fucking Blizzard <laughs> yeah. game have, have, any, have either of you seen the South Park episode about this? Yes, absolutely. Is it and good? I, Should I watch it? I could not think of a better t- like group of people to touch up on a situation <laughs> like this Wait, than... They did? Trey Parker and Matt yeah. Stone. It was like the first episode of the season is called Banned in China. And then they had to release a statement. We're sorry, Chinese censors. Your president definitely doesn't look anything like Winnie the Pooh. No, they, they, <laughs> they said, we're sorry. I watch that, I we're sorry your chairman looks like Winnie the Pooh. Oh. And then after that, they said, fuck the Chinese government. Oh. And it was just like, 
Wow. And and they got banned in China. Who would have fucking guessed? Yeah. Uh, shocking. No, yeah. It, it's fucking crazy, man. And I think people, it's, it, I've never seen anything like it before on like, because I just, you know, prowl the Twitter grams over the beefy boys. And I, it's weird seeing conservatives and liberals joining in in a battle I know. with something together. I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? But maybe, it shows you. Maybe this is exactly what America needed to fucking get over their bullshit again. I mean, it's what people needed to see that, hey, wait a minute. Oh, yeah, China exists. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Maybe we don't have it all that bad. Mike's bike. You know, <laughs> maybe we don't have it all that bad here. You know, we can say whatever the edit, fuck we edit, want. edit yourself saying Mike Spike but uh, before the uh, Spike happens. <laughs> warning, warning, veto Mike Spike coming. And, um, so, yeah, I mean, the the NBA kissing China's fucking ball sack uh, is ridiculous, man. And then the the owner of Houston. The, general uh, manager. The general manager. Uh, Houston Rockets, that is. Uh, China's, they're like a fucking super famous team in China because. Of Yao Ming. Yes. And so, now they're banned, but now they're talking about a full-on NBA ban in So, China. to recap that situation, Daryl Mor- Morey, who's the general manager of the Houston Rockets, tweeted, liberate Hong Kong, or I support the Hong Kong protesters or something. The, NBA, or the Chinese government reacted by banning Rockets games entirely in China, and then there was a strong push to fire that man. The NBA responded with a statement that literally said nothing. It was word salad trying to appease everybody, and now they just haven't said anything. And then that thing that he mentioned of the guys showing up over at Hong Kong at a Nets game and then getting yeah. kicked out. The NBA has been in China for a while, like most of their preseason games against Chinese teams, and uh, they have defi- decided that they're not going to speak to the media for the remainder of their China trip. So <laughs> it's, a, it's a thing. It's a shitstorm, man. Yeah. Quit bending over backwards to get your fucking butthole licked by fucking yeah. retarded communists. I, I mean, I'm not going to get too into it because I think, you know, China pisses me off just thinking about it, revoking easy fucking rights as far as like, you know, freedom of speech. If I, if I couldn't say whatever the fuck I wanted to, I don't know if I'd be able to live <laughs> because most of this show is literally just me saying anything I want to fucking uh, say. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Um. There's no, you know, there's no exception to it. I think that it's a shitstorm of a situation. And, you know, I, I do thank Tim for bringing it up on Twitter because it would have completely just brushed my mind that, you know, the whole Blizzard and NBA thing, it would have just, you know, yeah. escaped my mind because we don't get political in here. But those are two, those are two fucking topics we talk about on the show that are being yeah. impacted by the goddamn government in China. Uh, fuck them. I'm with Trey Parker and Matt Stone. There you go. Um, hmm. I think if you guys haven't watched that South Park episode, I've been meaning to. I'm just busy. this new season of South Park is just fucking great, just by the busy. way. Yeah. But that episode and then the episode after it, where they make fun of uh, what what are they called? Vaccines. Um, the anti-vaxxers, but they're called something. I can't. Why am I? Conchi- called- conscientious objectors. Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> fucking idiots. Are we going to refill on that next cider? Yeah, it's, yeah, cider. it's, it's <laughs> cider time. Or is it? I, I don't see know. it. It's right next to him, isn't it? What? No. Oh, it's up here. I have it. That's ah. what I thought. I thought it was still here, in your bag, right? Oh, there it is. Uh, 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 uh. What? 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 <laughs> <laughs> I was worried that I was going to land on the Equip Monk. This is from Two Town Cider, cider House. Oh, Ooh, we've nice. had, two, we've we've had, had them, them on here before. They're local. They're from uh, Portland, yeah. I think. Local-ish. Ish. Pumpkin, apple, sweet potato, honey wine with natural flavors added. This is an imperial. That sounds really fucking good. It's 8.5%. Wow. Hollow Jack, it's good. called. All right, bring your, somebody bring their cups to me. And after we taste this, I got, I got a quiz for you all. So you got your buzzers ready? Hell yeah. boy yo 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 do it. Here we go. <laughs> it's like we're fucking lining up for I know. Soup. It's like a fucking soup lineup in here. <laughs> uh, I still got... Oh, this is a big one, so I probably should have filled these a little higher. Oh, fill me up get some more. Get some more, boys. I've been killing my liver since Friday, so I figured, well, why stop now? There we go. There we <laughs> go. 
Don't stop. So this is a pumpkin flavored <laughs> cider with sweet potato. Interesting. It smells like a pumpkin. It smells like pumpkin. It does. It smells just like it smells like a a little bit sweeter of of like the last beer. It smells just like it, but just a tad bit more. That is very interesting. Uh oh. Oh, that's good. <laughs> It's like fucking candy. It is. It, it's, it's like, like vanilla. It tastes like yeah, cream soda with apples. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. yeah, like a like a vanilla apple. Yeah. yeah, it tastes like fall. That's what it tastes like. It's good. See, we found a cider that Christian likes. Oh, I like the other one. I told Vito in the car. I've been listening back to old episodes of the show, and I finally got to the introduction of beer of the week. And you're like, I just don't like ciders. I tried Red's Apple Ale that one time I dropped milk in the elevator or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I tried the, the other terrible one, and they were bad. I'm like, yeah, those are the bad ones. <laughs> yeah, it was uh, Angry Orchard and Red's. Yeah, those are bad bad examples. <laughs> yeah, well, they're really popular, good. so I was like, this these are, vanilla these are the, the bee's knees. All right, you guys want to do the quiz? I, br- I brought a quiz. Let's right. do the quiz. The quiz. Be, ready for, be ready for my slow reaction. It. It's, it's on your, your other side. To your right, yep. Right there on top of your box. There you go. Be ready for my slow reaction. Now make today. sure you honk them into the mic so they get picked up. To not up. be able to honk, answer honk. any so questions. So listeners, this is backed by popular demand. I brought Synonym back because it's everyone's favorite quiz ever, apparently. Oh. It was a, it's, a, it's a good one. All right, so Vito has this buzzer noise. And Christian has this buzzer noise. Same buzzers as last time to <laughs> avoid confusion. <laughs> Ever think? I think you were the boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. I picked. Blue. Oh yeah, because I didn't use the doorbell because I was worried it would set off yeah, the dogs. Get Benji. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. So again, the basic rules are: I give you the category, and I've turned all the words in the title into synonyms. You have to give me the things. So the example being weirder stuff as a TV show is Stranger, Stranger things, things, right? right? One all point right. for Vito. No, kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Vito needs all the help he can get yeah. because Christian is I'm way so- better at this game than Vito. I'm not bad. I don't know. That might have really just been on the you buzzer. Know. You just slow on the buzzer. Yeah. yeah. That well, might have just been because Vito is sharing I, I strategies. He's like, I gotta buzz in like when I know half of it, and then just <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> figure it out as I go. All right. So this first one is a song. Every sun by Break Lips. <laughs> <laughs> I know one of them. Every sun. Every sun. Can I just guess the band? I give you a half point. The Smash Mouth. Okay, what's the what's the song? <laughs> Steal no, it. what is it called? Wait, well, sorry, what's uh, the sun again? It's uh, All, uh every no, no, no. sun. Uh, what was it again, Joe? Every sun. Hey, now you're an all star. The song is called All, All Star. Star. Yes. Yes. And by Smash Mouth. Yes. So, so you half, both oh, get half a point. Half point each. I was never going to get All Star from that. Fuck. I, I had to say the whole line. To, to <laughs> yeah, say I can't the believe fucking, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> this was supposed to be an easy one. Oh, my <laughs> God. I don't know why that took me so long. Because I think. Well, the, I was trying to think of that other song that had like the sun in like the. Yes. Lyrics. Black Hole Sun. No, I was no, thinking no. About the, that there one. are others. The Might other as Mouth. well be walking on yeah, the that sun. One. Oh. No, I don't ever use the words from the title. All right, ready, ready, ready. This is a movie. Dark Leopard. That's Christian. Black Panther. Correct. Yeah. The best Marvel movie of 2018. <laughs> All right, another movie. Spirit Removers. My thing's broken. Ghostbusters. Your thing's broken. There we go. It was stuck. <laughs> it's Ghostbusters, yes. I'm giving that I was going to fucking get that one, god damn it. <laughs> But my fucking thing. I even clicked it before you. Quick it, draw, it fucking, over Let's here. make sure yours is working over here. It's working now. Go. Okay. You gotta hold it like. I recommend it like. Yeah, because I think it got stuck doing it. It got way. stuck. Maybe the batteries are. Maybe the battery compartment. No, it was the list. actual button that got stuck. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Well, these were cheap as fuck. I didn't <laughs> so, yeah. This is a song. Jiggle the thing away by a fast moving clothes maker. Say that one more time. Jiggle the thing away by a fast moving clothes maker. Yes. Oh, wait, shit. No, never mind. Yes. Oh, shit. <laughs> I, thought, I, I just had it and then I yeah, lost I, it. Yeah, I, I was like, wait, no, that's I'm not gonna it. I'm going to go all. with. Uh, 
Wait, oh my fast God, my clothes s- maker. My sister's going to be so mad. <laughs> eh, time's up. Because the oh hater's going to hate, no, yes. hate, 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 hate. Shake it off. Oh, fuck. Taylor Swift or a fast moving clothes maker. That's good. I would have literally never gotten that. You don't know that song? I know of the song, but I don't know like, the name of it and stuff. Oh, boy. I didn't know the name of it. Yeah. Really? You guys are pop culture illiterate, man. Well, yeah. I should have gone with some like fucking baby metal track or whatever. You guys. I mean, I don't know baby metal either, but I don't know. I've seen the video once. (laughs) Pantera. What if I went Pantera? Uh, I don't remember. It was just like one of my first videos. Okay, this is a song. Spicy military officers, single love organ group musicians by the insects. Yeah. (laughs) Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. Yeah. The Beatles. So again, spicy military officers, single love organ group musicians. (laughs) Those are the ones I have the most fun making. (laughs) That's fucking Completely absurd. By the insects. (laughs) By the insects, yeah. That's funny. Yeah. Okay, this is a video game. Dark Pink Deceased Vindication. Yes, Christian? Wait, say it one more time. Dark Pink Deceased Vindication. Oh, fuck. Never mind, I thought you said a different color. Okay. Can I take a swing at it? Sure. Red Dead? Yeah, Redemption. Yeah. Ah, Dark Pink. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, right see, I was also thinking that, but I was like, there's no that's way. See, I was thinking that too, but I was like, hang on. You guys are overthinking this. I got no, it, but like I had to swing. because it was four different words there, and that, and that Red Dead Redemption was like... Yeah, Dark Pink is red. Deceased is dead. Re- I think he said in the wrong redemption. order. It was why I was confused. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Because it's, it's, like, uh, it's like color dead... Redemption or whatever, you know? Yeah. And and you said it like... I said Dark Pink, Deceased Vindication. Yeah. That's Red Dead Redemption. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, I just got fucking brain farts. Uh, you just brain farts. Yeah. I'm Late. just so... I'm just really... Vito did game. ask if we could have coffee. It's 6 p.m. on a Monday. And Vito's like, is there any sure. coffee? <laughs> well, yeah, I was just like fucking... I don't Jeep. know. Right, I sure, I'm going to get copyrighted a bunch in this episode. We, they actually have started doing that. Okay. There's another song. Swim Along by Shy Rodent. Yes. Uh, Float On by Modest Mouse. Correct. Yeah. Correct. I was like, I know what that is, but I don't... I hate that band, dude. Oh I can't God. bring... Christian is dominating you again, Vita. Well, of course. I just, I'm so bad at it. <laughs> I'm literally known for having goldfish brain when it comes to fucking that's uh, true, music that's stuff. True. Okay, this is a video game series. Ultimate Destruction Siblings. Or excuse me, ultra destruction siblings. Super yeah. Smash Bros. Correct. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I love making these. These are so much fun. Yeah. All right, this one's a stretch. I don't know if you'll get this one, but this one is one of my favorite. Watch be the ones. one I get. <laughs> this is a TV show. Oh, I'm not gonna get it then. Sheeran, Norton, and Murphy. No way. What is it? Is it... Is it fucking Ed, Ed, and Eddie? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Ed Sheeran, Ed Norton, and Eddie Murphy. That's funny. <laughs> oh, Christian's losing it over there. <laughs> oh, I put that one in fuck. just for you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. It, it literally took me, like... Once I heard Murphy at the end of it, I was like, TV show with Ed Sheeran and fucking Edward Norton. And then I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Murphy? No, that is fucking good. That was great. That's All right, I got one more. Christian has completely dominated. It's like a one, two, three, four, I got five, half a point six. Out of all of them? One, two, three, four, five, <laughs> six, seven, seven and a half to a half. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> There's Vito's one got, left. Vito has a reception. He's got one reception in this game. This is a song. Explosive by Electric Currents. Ex- 
explosive by mm-hmm. electric currents. Think 80s arena rock, hair metal. TNT. By? ACDC. Correct. Oh. That was tough. I wouldn't have gotten it if you didn't say 80s. <laughs> but then it all made sense. <laughs> oh, I feel said, like you get a hint. When you said arena rock, I was like, okay. We got to get you some competition up in here. Sorry, Vito, but you suck at this. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I feel like if we, yeah. Yeah, I think, I think second time proves I'm just shit at this game. Yeah. I'm a fan of it. <laughs> I like it. It's so much fun. Our, this, our I, mean, I like do it this a lot, like but all I day. shit at it. Like, she'll play music, and we'll just play the game based on the songs. But, gets, like, don't try to get me to fucking th- think of anything to, like, you know. Don't get me to make any synonyms ooh. here. Cause it I'm, gets, I know, I that's like what my sister says. Like, Joe, one of them should make a quiz for you, because you just come off looking so smart. I'm like, if one of them wants to make a quiz for me, I'll take it. But <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about it, but I was like, fuck this guy. He knows everything. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, he's just not fucking worth it. The was, game. Maybe I'll make a quiz for both of you guys. There you I go. This one. <laughs> it's like, uh, I would take a veto quiz. Yeah. Like a it, veto I'm quiz. basically just going to make one of these, probably. These are fun. These are fun. Yeah. See, but I'm, I'm bad at making synonyms. Songs so. are the most fun, although it's really hard if it's like by just a person's name. Yeah. Like, what was the one we did yesterday? Uh, person from England... Leg part, throwing weapon, Britney Spears. Yeah, see, it doesn't work. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. Well, you can't, names are hard, right? Yeah. It's way easier if it's a band, but you'd yeah, be you surprised yeah. how many, even just bands, Because you can't require just say it's a, song, a person's name. Yeah. Or else, you know. No, the artist is part of the fun. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it, that was fun. Yeah. Hong Kong. Hong Kong. Honk for stonks. Honk, honk. That reminds me of Untitled Goose Game, which I really want to buy for my Nintendo Switch, but I have not yet. Speaking of uh, uh, Untitled Goose Game, Apple... Uh, Apple Arcade? Apple, you Apple want to talk Arcade? about Apple Arcade? Do you know about Apple Arcade? Yeah, I, don't, I don't know what's up with this. Oh, you don't have an iPhone? Yeah. Apple Arcade is... Do you have to have an iPhone to have an Apple Arcade? No, you can have an iPad or a MacBook. All of the games have controller support, too, so you can Bluetooth in your controller. So to pull back for a second, Apple Arcade is a, right now it's four ninety nine dollars a month. It's a subscription service that gives you access to, like, there's, like, 40 games that launch, and they're, like, really good games. Uh, Throw a few out there, man. Right now, so I finished What the Golf, which is, they call it the golf game for people who hate golf games. It's got simple, like, pullback and hit the ball controls except like kind of like old Madden field goals yeah except in you you uh start by hitting a ball and then the second time you throw the club and then the third time you just ragdoll the person down the course and by the end like <laughs> I, I did a level where i was like controlling a soccer ball and had to keep the six-year-olds from kicking it and then there was one where i was a car and there was one where i was like one of them was like an ar first person shooter golf game so you know it's like literally and they like <sighs> They mix in all the like fun indie games. Like there's levels based on Super Hot and Super Meat Boy and all the fun stuff. That's fun. That's pretty cool. There's like a fake Mario game. We play like a 2D platformer, but with like golf controls. It's weird. Grindstone. That's another good one. That's uh, by Cappy. The people who did uh, what did they do? Uh, what's it called? The Heroes of Might and Magic. Oh. The one on 3DS, which was like a match three RPG. Uh-huh. But not like a abusive one, if right. you will. That one's really fun. What else have I been playing a lot of? Oh, Space Team is like a XCOM knockoff. And these all have, again, full controller support and can be played on any Apple device. There's one from the Monument Valley people that's about like taking apart old watches and uh, like trinkets and stuff and putting them back together. Story driven. Anyways, it's five ninety nine. The one annoying thing about it is that it uh, overwrites any audio you try and play. Um, so you can't be listening to your audio and playing the game, which is how I play most that of my mobile like games. Apple, yeah. <clears throat> the thing that Apple patch that out. cares the least about is fucking music. You need to update your iDevice to iOS 13 or whatever, or else you can't use it, but it's pretty awesome. And it's free for the first month or the first two weeks. I strong, I've been playing the games on the bus all the time. I don't have to bring my Switch anymore because I got these fun Apple Arcade games. And there's, like, there's like literally like 40 of them <laughs> like for yeah. five bucks a month. It's awesome. 
That's pretty cool. It's like Game Pass, except Do you have from to download phone. them, or do they just... You do have to download them, yeah. yeah. So yeah, it is yeah. like Game Pass. Sounds but you can sure. access them as long as you're an Apple Arcade member. Nice. And they're trying to do partnerships with, like, all, like, the biggest companies, you know? Speaking of Game Pass, yeah. they're having a Spooktober right now Ooh. for Game Pass. So they gave out the Blair Witch for free. I haven't played that. I downloaded it. I haven't played it. Uh, looks kind of shitty, but I'll give it a try. It's like a survival horror game. Cashing in off of the out out cat or Outlast mm-hmm. wave. Uh, so I'll probably check that one out eventually. Maybe not yet. But I got uh, World War Z as well. They gave that one out for free. Tried that one last night, and holy fuck. That game is so goddamn hard. Oh, yeah? Uh, I had heard of a lot of things being like, oh, it's like Left 4 Dead. You know, all that jazz. It's not a first person. It's a third person shooter. So it's pretty interesting in that sense. But you're, the biggest objective is just be quiet. Because you can you can take out zombies quietly, but the second one of them spots you, you have like... Have, have you guys seen the movie of World War Z? No. no. Well, I mean, you guys aren't missing much. It's a, it, was, it was an okay movie. Didn't do the book justice, but it, I mean, I enjoyed it. I did see a movie recently that I enjoyed a lot. Well, we're going to probably talk about that because I feel like I saw the same movie. Well, you did, but a long time ago. Okay. Uh, Anywho, waves, waves, waves of zombies. I'm talking like the biggest fucking zombie hordes you've ever seen in your life in a video game. Um, I didn't think you were going to have to fight them. I thought it was just like all in the background for for show. No, you got to fight them. For show. And it's so goddamn hard. If you're playing it co-op, it might be a little bit easier. But here's my advice. Don't play it solo. Because the the AI teammates that you get suck dick, dude. They suck. They go down all the time, and then you get tackled by zombies, and then you're getting eaten by like 50 zombies, and you can't get up, and then you die. And you're that like, sucks. well, I'm just going to go ahead and turn this game off. Mm. Uh, if you have it on co-op, or if you play it online, I'm sure it's fun. But you have to be having communications. It's a fun game. I'm not going to sit there and say this game's a piece of shit. It's a it's an indie title, mm-hmm. so it's not like a massive game. But I'd say for what it is and for it being free, I fucking had my 10 minutes of fun with it. And then I was like, well, okay, I'm finished with it. I've seen enough. I've dealt with too many goddamn zombies. Uh, too many gosh darn zombies. Other than that, it's, it's all about prop hunt. In Modern Prop Warfare hunt. until the new Modern Warfare comes out next oh week. Oh, my God. Oh. There's another one? Yeah, you know, what are you playing if not the new one? Uh, Modern, or Call of Duty 4 Remastered. Oh, God. They have Prop Hunt, man. Well, they have Prop Hunt in World War II is. and in Black Ops 4. But I thought the yeah. Call of Duty game just came out. The beta and came out. It's coming out. The mobile one just came no, out. No, I man, it came out like fucking like when we first started the show. <laughs> <laughs> Outside of that, I've been playing a lot of Final Fantasy fourteen. I put like twelve hours yesterday, and MLB the Show nineteen because it was free this month. So I just play it when I'm waiting for something to happen in Final Fantasy fourteen. Like I'm queuing for a dungeon. Oh, time to do a game. I think that we should be getting a patch this month. Yeah, it's like two weeks. New game plus. I'm excited. New dungeon. So hopefully, because the, mean, the, 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 the most, server population. The is... most important part is going to be uh, Hildebrand. Are there new Hildebrand? Further Hildebrand oh. adventures coming in the next patch. I haven't finished. I finished well. I finished the uh, there's Heaven the ARR ones. ones, and then there's Heavenwards one, and then there's Stormblood. Storm yeah, I haven't Blood finished one. the Stormblood ones yet. When I unlock the Stormblood raid, are you gonna do it with me? Yeah, of course. Have you done it? Yeah. Oh, all the way. Wait, wait sorry. Uh, raids. Yeah. I haven't done any. of The, the eight man, raids. not the twenty four. I know you haven't done any twenty four. I've done. I haven't done any twenty fours, and I didn't do any raids. You're gonna. Uh, you're you're going to do it with Joe. There we can. We, Vito and I are a two man raiding yeah, team. We talked about this. Yeah. Yeah. Vito has the world's best luck. Like, literally. So, okay. <laughs> to peel back the curtain. <laughs> to, peel, to peel back the, the, the skin? The curtain. Oh. What, when, what? You, when you go through a dungeon, you have to, like, roll a die base. It's a hundred. You get a number between one and a hundred if you both want the same piece of loot. 
Vito and I played like four dungeons in a row together. Where out of the five pieces of loot per dungeon, I got one total. He got the rest. I'm like, are you kidding? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was getting nothing. And then one time I got every piece except one. And I'm like, haha, payback. And then the next like three times it was all Vito again. I'm like, Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have the, uh, I, uh, Jane has the same problem with, with running shit with me as I just fucking get all the loot. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just excited now because my brother finally has a fucking Xbox. There you go. And so he'll be playing the new Modern Warfare with us. And the new Modern Warfare being. You in- guys should play Monster Hunter together. Oh yeah, That'd he doesn't really have good. Game Pass. F- fucking Game Pass. Yeah, it's he just doesn't. Like he just doesn't play video year. games enough to have Game Pass. Like the guy just have it. him just buy the game. That's true. It's pretty cheap. Maybe <laughs> it was on sale like a few months ago. We're we're shooters. We're gonna man. get the hella sale time. Man. We're shooters. You, the can, bow. you can play the, with like, a gun. I mean, I'll gun. probably play it. And you can gun. have a gun. Yeah, but I guarantee you, he he probably will not like that game. You, dude, you hunt down fucking giant monsters and shit. And then you wear their skin. And then you wear their skin as armor and weapons. They're adding trans transmog to that game, you know. Oh. Yeah. I might have to go back again. The heat just kicked on in here. Yeah, uh, yeah, it did when you mentioned transmog. <laughs> you hear it rumbling on the. This house, this house gets hot. hot I want to talk hot, about a movie hot. I just saw recently. Yeah, what is it? Bohemian Rhapsody is a good movie. Oh, yeah, it's a good one. We watched it and then we immediately watched the Live Aid performance. I'm like, oh my god, this is yeah. Weird. You got you got to watch the Live Aid. We right did after that we because like we're like, why is there these like weird like random half filled beer and Pepsi cups up here? And then we watched the Live Aid performance. Like, okay, this is literally exactly the same. Like, yeah, <laughs> like down to the Pepsi and beer cups shop, and everything. Shop, and shop, like, hey, this is creepy. <laughs> uh, it, it was really well. The Live Aid was really well done. And obviously, yeah, it's it's a fucking uh, movie about a band. So of course, there's going to be a lot of you know shit that didn't really happen that happened in the movie, but who gives a fuck? It's a fucking movie. Shit. Yeah. Shut the fuck up and like it. No, I'm just joking. You don't have to like it, but it's a... Uh, <laughs> it <was like, clears throat> I enjoyed it. I thought it was fun. Yesterday, Ara was trying to prove a point about like how only we only know the names of front men in bands. And she's like, like, can you name another member of Queen besides Freddie Mercury? And I was like, Brian May. And she's like, okay, that was a bad example because we just watched him. movie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah, it was a bad example. <laughs> but, Bri- but Brian I can't May, name the fucking band members in any band. Brian May Goldfish is a good Brian. one to name because he's, he's a lot more than just Queen. Like, the guy's like a straight up, like, fucking rocket scientist. And <clears throat> he's insanely smart. So he's, he's big on, like, his... His brains have made headlines yeah. other than his music. So, obviously, a lot of people could get Brian May. And plus, our buddy uh, Campbell Soup also could name Queen because that was like, one of his favorite bands. Mm. Shout out to Campbell. Campbell. I Camp, also... Uh, Campbell. I don't know why they didn't talk about this in the movie, but I didn't realize he didn't, didn't come out, Freddie Mercury, as gay or an AIDS patient till literally the day he died. That's a fun fact. That yeah. they did not address in the movie. Yeah. How did people not realize, though? Look at that mustache. Everybody realized it. Nobody. It's like Liberace. <laughs> people didn't know that? Everybody knew Liberace was gay. <laughs> no, they just thought he was Are fancy. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Hanging around with a, a fucking glittery-ass dude all day. <laughs> Come on. I mean, Liberace could be pushed off as fancy, but I think both of them... Well, I mean, you know, Freddie Mercury was married... Yeah, to, to a, a fucking woman. woman. So a lot of people were like kind of confused when they were like, wait a minute. He had sex with 600 dudes in Munich. What the fuck? You know, but that was big. I mean, people yeah. knew about that. <clears throat> people know about his sexual adventure in Germany. Boy, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That was not addressed in the movie. <laughs> it's not addressed. In the- he lived in Germany in the movie. Oh, they did, did not address his weekend at the university. I didn't know about the cats. The cats? Apparently he liked cats. Oh. He had a lot of cats. At least I mean, in the movie. In the, yeah. I don't know about... I, I don't know if that's like a fact or crap, but... He didn't tell the band he had AIDS until... Yeah? Until after Live Aid. Well, that... not. He had Live AIDS movie. at Live Aid, but he didn't tell anybody, <laughs> and he didn't know. He didn't know until after Live Aid. Mm, that's not as... Well, because that was the end of the movie, so they had to... They, yeah, yeah, I mean, you're obviously going to throw in, like... Well, the rest of his life shit, was just him living have, yeah, peacefully with that fucking, guy. That's not an We're not going to have movie. a three hour, yeah. three hour movie on just Freddie Mercury. They didn't focus on just him, which was 
good. You know, the yeah. movie, it was about the band, which is what a lot of people were confused about because they were like, I thought this was a Freddie Mercury movie. It well, felt like it was mostly It felt like it was a more Freddie Mercury movie, but it had the, it was it was about the whole band. And so anyway, with that with that going uh to the side here, um I won't be watching Rocket Man. No, why not? It's a fucking musical. Oh. And I will steer as far away as possible from musicals. So I was going to watch it. I'm like, well, I like the actor and I like Elton John. So yeah, I'll watch his movie. Then I go to the red box and it says musical. And I'm like, I will never watch that movie. Uh, Sorry. Drinking that hater, Ed, man. I just won't do it. I don't like musicals, man. I mean, it's about a musician. Of course it's going to be a fucking musical. <laughs> well, I mean, like, it's like the dialogue is like all music. I don't fuck with that. Right. There's got to be like, I mean, you can consider, I guess you can consider Bohemian Rhapsody a fucking musical because it had Queen's music in it. But it wasn't like. They didn't communicate exposition through music. Right. Yes. They and just sang the songs. That was like fucking. There's a movie out I highly considered fucking hanging myself while watching it. It was Les Mis. Why are you? I was forced to hater? watch that piece of crap. You just and really hate musicals, huh? I hate musicals. And I had to watch that fucking movie, and I've, God damn it! Oh, I can't tell you enough how much I <laughs> dislike that movie. There is nothing I want to do less. Yeah. Sorry, I, I might be musical. mixing up my words here because I'm fucking <laughs> upset just thinking about Russell Crowe singing for three fucking hours. I seen that movie. Yes, and he sings for three fucking hours. Hugh Jackman sings for a bunch in that movie. Yes, he does. Fucking Hugh Jackman really sucks at singing, too. We should think about rapping, because I really got yeah. to Oh, fuck. I'm unwrapping my fucking I leg. I see that. Because <laughs> I'm just fucking sweating through this brace. Oh, jeez. Uh, I saw The Joker. How was it? Bad? No. I hear it's bad. It's It's awesome. It's a great story. I heard it's good, actually. It's yeah. really good. Really fucking good. Socially tone deaf, I hear. What? Socially tone deaf. So what do you mean by that? Meaning they glorify a angry white man for being an angry white man, which is a bad look in the modern... He's the Joker! He's, he's a he's fucking Joker! Guy. And he's a bad guy. Yeah. But... They why would They don't fucking glorify him. He's the bad guy. Uh, <laughs> this is just what I heard. Vito, that's because media if they, if is they, if retarded. If they glorify the bad guy uh, when they're when they're on the, in the perspective as the bad guy for doing bad things, that's because he's the bad guy and you're supposed to beat him. <laughs> okay. But here's the thing is, if you watch the movie, they don't glorify him, but you can, you can definitely see where you could be like, damn, I know why the Joker is the Joker, because holy fuck. Mm. That fucker. But they didn't. I, I mean, I, I think the way, origin. I haven't seen it yet. The origin story was awesome. I loved it. I loved the background. I loved how it developed. I liked that it was like a non superhero movie because I'm fucking tired of them. So what? being able You're to see. You're tired of superhero movies? Like, I'll still watch them. Are there any Marvel movies coming out? I, I watched the new Spider Man and I didn't hate it, but I was just like, fuck. You mean exhausted. the new arachnid person? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I watched Far From Home, and I was like, the movie's not bad, but I am exhausted. I just can't do it. There's too much, like, uh, you know, too much glitter and joy. <laughs> so then I watched a movie called Good Night, Mommy, and I was like, well, that was fucking depressing. I don't know how you have time and, for so many movies. And it's terrible. Two, two games to yeah. play. Well, because I don't wake up at 5 a.m. anymore. Neither do I. And I get to lay in bed and watch movies. I wake up at seven. Now. Before, I mean, to, be, to be fair, I, I watched like fucking over ten e seasons of anime in the last week. Or so. I know. Yeah, that'll do it. See, he, he could watch movies too. He's just watching anime. <laughs> but what I will say about the Joker was, you know, I thought it was funny going to the fucking movie theater and having there be uh, two armed police officers. Yeah, see, I thought yeah. that was hilarious. But here's another thing that I find hilarious is the media didn't get what they wanted, and all they got was just a uh, Joker smash in the box office. <laughs> and here we go. You know, but the movie was great. And Joaquin Phoenix, I Joaquin. dislike this man as an actor. Why? Because of characters such as Holes and characters like... Was he in Holes? 
or ho- ho- sorry, signs. Signs, you God mean? Damn it, holes. Uh, <sighs> signs. And um, when he made a, a fucking rapper documentary of him being a rapper, that really made me think, like, wow, this guy is just such a doofus. Have I ever Stand told up. you my connection to the movie Signs? Interesting. I lived in the town where it was filmed and takes place. Oh. Wow. Were, you, were you living there when they filmed it? Mm-hmm. Just it's not nearly sense. that small a town. It's just like a regular old Philadelphia suburb. But it it was founded in like 1655 by William Penn. So there is a lot of old timey shit around. And they just focused on the old parts of town <laughs> and made it look like it was just Small farms town. and like two buildings. It's, it's not. It's just a regular suburb. <laughs> yeah, but Joaquin Phoenix is, you know, there's a movie with Philip Seymour Hoffman called The Master. That was a movie that I watched mm-hmm. with him that actually noodles... <clears throat> lent to me and I watched it and fucking loved it. So with that being said, Joaquin Phoenix really has transformed himself, in my opinion, to be one of the, one of the better actors in Hollywood. But the movie was incredible. Vito, Joe, go see it so we can talk about it. Yeah, we will good. be, if you guys go see it, we will talk spoilers on it. But with that being said, I think Vito's got to... Uh, time. Yeah, I, I think really Vito's got to fucking hit the road. I gotta go talk D&D. Ah. He's got a, an appointment to deal with a Dungeon and a Dragon. Dungeons and Dragon organization. And I've got to catch oh, the second half boy. of this game. And that's cool. Play Let's some fucking prop up. hunt. But I, I do, love you guys. I do want to say the website rebuild is coming along nicely, and I'm oh. hoping I can get it up by the end of the month. Let's say end of the year because I'm slow on this shit. Well, nice. I'm sure you're yeah. taking your time, and it's looking good. Well, it doesn't look like anything yet, but the server is done and the API once, is done. Once the, the website's CMS is more done. established, I'll start writing more reviews for it. There you go. Other than my Black Ops 4 review I'm that's on creating the- a whole system so you can easily add a review to our website, bud. Look at that. Noise. Noise. All right. Noise. See you, All right, you guys. knucklehead, next week. <laughs>